Hey guys, welcome back to All and Unlaw. This is Quick Radiology Rads, and today we're gonna discuss about um, radiological signs of vitamin C deficiency. That's scurvy. Okay, so remember the scurvy is really very important topic for your USMLE examination, and one point I would like to tell you over here is you don't find vitamin C deficiency that's a scurvy in a um, neonate or a feed infant or less than six months of age because neonate has generally very good adequate um, what you call um, adequate of uh, vitamin C storage okay that's why you see after the six months if there's a lack of vitamin C in the body so I'm gonna list out the signs over here and I'm try to I'll try my level best to explain you about that but I cannot put the upload the image over here because of the copyright issue so I'm really very sorry for that just you can google the images plenty of images you will get in the google okay guys so just let me tell you uh, Wimberger sign Wimberger sign what's a Wimberger sign it's nothing but it's a presence of sclerotic rim you know sclerotic rim that's it's around the epiphysis so presence of sclerotic rim around the epiphysis is known as Wimberger sign Wimberger sign okay then we have a what you call a white line white line of Frankel okay white line of a Frankel it's nothing but it's a dense zone of a provisional calcification at the growing metaphysis so remember the white line of Frankel is seen as a dense zone of provisional calcification at the growing metaphysis okay um, then we have another one sign just google the images guys you will get a lot of images over there then we have Trammerfeld Trammerfeld zone what's the Trammerfeld zone Trammerfeld zone is nothing but it's a lucent zone below the white line just we discussed the white line right uh, due to the lack of mineralization so it's a lucent line sent below the white line okay because of the lack of mineralization right so you call it as that sign is that zone is known as a trauma fat zone okay then we have another one that's known as a pelcon spur pelcon spur what's a pelcon spur is 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 the area it's an area is 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 it's an area is a prone to fractures okay um manifesting at cortical mar margins okay remember cortical margins okay and these patients with the scurvy they are prone for osteoporosis the periosteal hemorrhages okay okay guys so this is about the scurvy and its uh, radiological sign thank you so much for watching this video guys take care